Hi, this is Danica and I build WordPress membership sites. And in this video, we're working on a WordPress membership demo of with Memberium and Active Campaign integration. In the previous videos, we have set up the necessary things that your Memberium with Active Campaign integration needs. So we set up the membership levels, we set up the password fields, and we set up the web hooks and we tested the password generator. Um, in the future videos, um, I'm still working on the order forms, so I think that's gonna be later. But in our test in the previous video, you see that we have able to troubleshoot the problem and I'm able to log in successfully, which is great. So now, I think I want to move to starting building the pages that your membership um, site needs. We're gonna start with um, uh, we're gonna start with the login page. Okay. Um, let me just do it here. I think I'm gonna close some tabs. Okay. Because I have some inspiration for the design that we will based on. So a recap, um, this demo site, it is using Elementor and Elementor Pro. We have Jet Engine installed because we're going to create some um, post type later. And we have Memberium. Others are off. In terms of the team, I'm just using the Hello Elementor. And that's it. If we view this right now, it's just a very plain website, no designs or whatsoever yet. And since we're gonna focus on the design for now, I'm gonna close my other tabs here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna open my, I'm looking for the design that I was looking earlier was it this one okay hold on okay so in terms of design i will follow this um i'm gonna use this as my inspiration this is from behance um and it's from this creator and i'm just gonna follow the fonts and colors i'm gonna base it from here um just so we have something um and this is gonna be a generic one that i will set up but in terms of design i decided to use this one okay so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set up the typography and colors um so let's do that Let's just browse for more. Okay. This actually looks nice. So I'm going to grab those colors and typography. So in Elementor, um, I'm going to go to my First is I'm gonna assign uh, pages. So in my pages here, um, individual course. Uh, okay, so these are from Memberium. Got that. Well, I'm not gonna use, is there a login here? Okay. Let's just check what the login. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna use that. So maybe what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to trash everything. These are pages from the Memberium Wizard that we set up earlier. If you think those could help you, then feel free to check those. But in this demonstration, we're just going to start from scratch. We're going to add a new page. And in this page, we're going to name it um, Login. And then I'm also going to name it, hold on, 
and then I'm gonna add home. And I'm gonna go to my um, settings. I'm gonna assign that home page. And I'm also gonna assign the login page. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn on site lock again because I turned it off earlier when I did the page speed. Okay. So next is let's go to here. Refresh. I'm gonna save those colors. And I'm gonna go home. So it's going to be color one because we have two and it was the blue is hashtag one F two C five C. Okay, next is color two. Okay, and in terms of Okay. Mm. Okay. So I'm just gonna assign this as the primary and secondary. I think I'm gonna use this as my text accent, maybe still the blue. Okay. So in terms of design, we're just doing any random stuff right now. But when you're building your membership site, you need to do the user research and experience UX UI and user research before ending up in their final design. Um, it's not good to start building right away. And later on, it's going to be a big work if you keep on adjusting it because the layout doesn't work. But in this video, we're just showing, I'm just going to, sh I'm just showing you how um, things could work because I want to highlight some membrane functionality. So this has nothing to do with um, research. I haven't researched the layout. Um, this is just for demonstration purpose only. And for your case, I highly, highly suggest you spend some time on doing your research in terms of your um, customer persona and how exactly your course should work for your members, how your members should go through and finish your course um, so that it will be a nice um, and a worth it experience for your members and they will be able to take advantage on the um, learnings that you offer for your programs. So let's continue here. For the fonts, I need to do an Adobe integration. So this one, I will need to do, this is the font that was used here. So Griffon and Lato. So I'm gonna need to do that. Um, I'm going to create a new project. I'm gonna name it WordPress membership. Demo. 
and after that elementor has an integration with um adobe font so i'm going to integrate this let's just go to elementor settings and i'm going to copy this project id integrations Adobe Typekit, save, refresh. We will change that, so let's see. Site settings, we're gonna assign the font. So primary should be Griffin. Okay, Griffin. The font family was, we have the regular and bold, which is 400 and 700. Okay. So we're going to do that 700. 700. It's la two. And font okay let's do a refresh so here I just finished setting up the font family and I'm just gonna try if that works yep that works and I think the next thing that I want to make sure. Okay. I'm just going to leave that now. So I think we have at least the colors and the font family. We're going to try to use this as inspiration to set up the um login page i'm also going to grab some more colors now that i realize i'm just gonna do this this is an extension for your google chrome color pick so you could use that and i'm gonna add that to my site settings Global color, color tree. It's a light version of this one. Let's see what else. I think I want to grab, sorry, I want to grab this. It's a bit light version of the blue. Maybe it's a, a transparent one, but I'm just going to grab that. Nope. Mm -hmm. I might need it. Mm, no. Okay, I'm trying, I'm having a hard time with that. Um, light versions. I'm just gonna delete that and I'm just gonna do a, a bit transparent version of a white. That should be good. Hmm. Yep, let's try it. So we're gonna use um our page and let's set up the login page okay so before we start with the design um there's some things that we need to um set up on this page so first is let's go on the right side there's a memory of content protection this should be logged out only and then this should be 
when prohibited, meaning if they are not logged out, um, then we need to redirect this to the home page. So it's this page. Save that. We will test that later on. And then let's edit the page. So I'm gonna... Okay, since this is a login page, we wanna make sure it is as plain as we could. Um, so it's nice to just use the canvas of Elementor. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a two column and I'm gonna do full width, no gap, okay. And I'm going to have this height set to screen. Let's just check. I need to have some space or else that's not going to show up. And this one, this side it will have our login um, form. So if we go to Mimbarium's documentation, short codes, and check login, login form. They have this short code which will create this login form. So it has um, options to update the label, um, the password label, and so on. Um, where to redirect after they log in, remember yes or no. Um, rename the bottom label, and so on. There's even an option for you to style these uses. But nowadays, if you're using a powerful page builder like Elementor, by default, they have this um, widget available for you to use. So you can just drag that. So example, in the Elementor Pro, it is here. So it has all you need actually. And I'm just gonna save this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how that looks. Okay, so that's how it looks. Now, as you can see, it the page we need to update that. So let's go to um, settings here, permalinks and post name okay oops it did the 404 so now we have the um login so we now have a login form and if we view this page as the member, so let's try to log in and see what happens if we try to insist on viewing this login page, even if we're already logged in. That's pretty to see. So I'm gonna log in here using the previous test that we did. And it says too many rhetoric, so let's check that. So I have pasted the URL in the wrong place. So it should be on the second one earlier. I'm not sure, but I could not click this pill. So for sure that's what's causing it. Let's try that again. 
this time I'm gonna close this incognito and try it again. Copy my email. Okay, that works. So just a single um, field that we have missed did the redirect loop. So if you have this problem, you should check this settings here. So that's good. So now let's continue designing the login page. Since you have confirmed that it's now working, I want to um, see it in nice looking shape. Okay. Okay, so let's design this page. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to open the navigator this section and I'm going to assign a solid color. I'm going to do this shade and then I'm going to do a background overlay. Let's just check if it's okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a gradient effect instead. And I'm going to copy this. Um, I'm going to change it to 90. And I'm going to set the location to 50, 50. OK. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. I was targeting the columns earlier, which is supposedly not what I want. So I want a 50-50 look, so I do it here, okay. Next is we're gonna do, hope this is visible enough. Okay, next is we're gonna do this um, column. We're gonna add some space. Actually, I was hoping to put some background. Um, maybe I could put something later in there. For the columns, I am going to leave the first one blank for now. Let's do the blank. And the next one, I'm going to do uh, padding. First, I'm going to set the width of this maximum of 350 only, maybe 280. And then I'm going to do okay. Let's check how that looks. Okay, next is let's address some spacing. So since this is an elementary widget, you could do and assign it in the site settings. So there is a button here. As you can see, I'm just going to open my design here. See if they have some button. Okay. I think I'm going to remove the first border radius and keep it as square as it could. And I'm going to increase it to 24 or 22. Yep. And then I'm going to that's fine. The spacing. I'm going to transform it to uppercase. Okay, maybe letter spacing to one. 
padding. I want to increase the top part, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn off the link. I'm gonna try 10, 10, maybe 12. Okay, looks good. And then on my fields, once you set your design here, it's going to be very handy once you set up your other forms later. So that's why it's rather than designing the form, because we could also just design the form in the page, right? Rather than doing it in there, you should do it here. Um, so it affects all of your uh, forms. So let's do border width one, radius zero, and then the label should be, that's fine. Um, I want the spacing. That one looks good. Okay. Padding should be 12. Not sure what, why that turned kind of blue, but let's check. Okay. 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 And then I'm gonna go back here. As you can see, it kind of re reset my page, but um, you just need to refresh your page builder sometimes so it recognizes the new design. If it doesn't still work, then you could close that and try to do a preview. because it looks good here. So let's try it again. Elementor, just address. Anyway, I'm going to center this, so additional option, um, center. It's now centered. I hope I can also center the other stuff. Okay, maybe I'll just leave it to default for now. And at the bottom, I'm going to do contact. Um, not the uh, number, or else maybe click here to join, and then the other one should be. Contact support. Let's see. It's hard to um, track the design because my background here is not showing up. So I wanted to have that section. Okay. I'm going to add some oh, temporary. I'm just going to add this solid color for now just for me to see because it's very hard so click here to join i want the join to be blue 
but then the support I wanted to I want to override the color and switch it so you're gonna make it some kind of transparent like that one and I hope I can make this with don't remember maybe I could add some padding Okay, that seems to look fine, but it seems like that twelve should be is it ten that I said? I'm gonna track. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so this is our login page now. Um, I'm gonna do some adjustment in terms of spacing. Let me just. The gap here. Maybe 20. And then I'm going to change the text to exactly the same. Okay, so we now have our login page, and right now I think this is just using the default WordPress. Um, forget password. We're gonna change that logo later. So if you log in, I can now use this, and on this side, ideally there should be some image or some marketing videos that you need to put on um ideally it should be something that gives um a visitor idea where they need to go if they're interested to join maybe they have just found you in a facebook group or something that you are offering a program should have something on the site um on there so yep this is it for the login page actually we could even use some um, example if you have a senior um ra range of age for your members then maybe you want to increase the font size and add some show and hide password here which i had experience setting up that one it's available for some elementary add-ons like essential add-ons so maybe that's a thing that you need but for this demo, I think this is enough. I'm just going to put some 
Uh, maybe welcome message at the top, and I think we are good to go. And we will now proceed to the um, setting up a custom post type for our um, co um, courses and modules. Okay.